That is it. That means we are recording episode 511. No Laugh Track podcast here at Acme Comedy Company in Minneapolis. I am Justin Severson, who gets to host this each and every week. I thought up until a few days ago, I was just going to be talking to one person this week, which I was very excited about because she's one of my favorites. And then I see on uh, social media that another person that I uh, know is going to be featuring, and that got me so excited. Tony Kameen is here featuring for Lori Kilmartin, both on the podcast. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Justin. How you been? Very good. Very good. I mean, you're asking me, Tony, you're asking me that because we haven't spoken in like five, five years, years yeah. or so. And it didn't go well last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this that I podcast? I walked off in a hus- huff. <laughs> When I'm back, I forgive you. Yes. You used to come around with uh, our old pal, Arge. Yeah, yeah, Arge Barker, but he's, uh, he's in Australia. He says hi to everybody. He misses us. You know, we, we, we came for years, five or six years in a row, maybe more than that. So, uh, you know, he's like, oh, he gets sentimental. He's like, tell what's the liar? Who's there still? Blah, 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 you know? Uh, so he says hi to everybody. Is that right? Yeah. Is he a full-time Australian now? Yeah, yeah, he's been for a while. Does but- he have a family there now? Well, he was married for a while. Okay. So he had two uh, two dogs, and that was family. Oh, I see. You know? And one of the, his dogs are really old too. They're like six, fifteen or sixteen, and that's their life expectancy. So he he kind of wants to stick around because he's quite close with the dogs. Yeah. So to just you know, if it's going to be their last day, year, or so he doesn't like, oh, I'll stay in the country. You know, I don't want to be someplace far away and then have to like. 19 hours back. You know? You're announcing the return of Arch Barker's coming soon. <laughs> no, no. Well, we, after his dogs pass away. What, what, what kind of a comic has heart like that? I don't. What happened yeah. to him? He used to be ruthless like the rest of us. Are you kidding? He got so sentimental. I was like, oh, what's... Um, I, I told him about Moose and Sadie's. You know, we used to go to there and we have friends yeah. and stuff. Uh, they're coming to the show Saturday night. The guys used to work there. Uh, and he's like, oh, really? Oh, that's, you know, it's horrible. It's like... Yeah, it's changed a lot in five years, you know. But it's nice to be back here. I'll tell you, last night was so fun. Lori was so funny. I was laughing out loud in the back there. Tony, I, you were hilarious as always. I'm unaccustomed to these compliments. I don't know how to handle them. They feel like sarcasm. They never come from me, usually. <laughs> they never do. No. <laughs> it was such a great show last night. I didn't get a chance fun. to say hi to either of you. I was sitting in the back, and as soon as the show ended, I bolt. But, yeah, and uh, Aiden's really funny, too. Aiden oh, is yeah, great. I, it's always a treat. To, uh, he's one of the newer uh, MCs here. Yeah, he's really funny. I yeah. am very, I was jar- it was jarring to find out that he's homeless and, <laughs> and living in his car. Um, that, I mean... I mean, it's not I know. the first time you've heard a comedian. Like he, it looks like he just got stranded from a three-hour cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking hat. Well, I mean, <laughs> Stanhope did that, but I also feel like he he didn't have to. You know, it was more convenient. But being homeless uh, or wearing a Gilligan hat. In his car. When I met him, he was living in his car. Stanhope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just, it, uh, it, it, to me, I guess maybe now because of the strike and everything that's happening, it feels like more of a commentary on America that even that, even that when we were starting the MCs, we had homes, right? Don't well, we? we had, we had parents apartments <laughs> had, in the city with, with five other comedians, but it was quite cheap. You know, I think yeah. I, my, my room, I had a bay window it was like $300 and this was 92, oh my God. you know, I'm just saying, um, I'm sure Aiden and, would would like to live in a, yeah. an affordable room if I'm there was ho- one. I'm hoping that when Aiden has a set in the Twin Cities that he's not sleeping in his car, that that's only like in a small town in this area, but, you know, that comedians are really going to leave him, a, open up the couch for him. Well, Lori's very generous that way. She's letting me sleep <laughs> in the bed with her this is that week. What's, yeah. Is that your yeah. situation? You too? Yeah. And it's, just work. it's just work. We know that. We know that. I have a wife, a very loving wife. Who knows I sure. got to do what I got to do. <laughs> I'll let you feature, but you're on your own for housing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very nice. Um, Last night was so, so, it so was good. so fun. It like, fun. oh, you just remember how good this place is, and the audiences yeah. are so nice, you know, and they're just, yeah. they're, they have a little patient. They're willing to go with you to some crazy places. You had a lot of new stuff. I, that was, you were having fun. Uh, did I? Oh, yeah, good. You were, Tell Nothing me, feels sounded new to unpolished. Me. Uh, new, uh, no, no. <laughs> it sounded like I hadn't finished it yet. No, yeah. no, you were saying like stuff I hadn't heard. I seen you recently, so I yeah. thought it was new to me anyway. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask. How often do you two work we together? Run, you couple, run into each other? A couple times a year, maybe we bump into each yeah, other. Yeah, we see in each LA, other in LA, LA and then a lot. we work the punchlines frequently yeah, yeah. together. She's nice. She asked me from last year, and we did even Sacramento maybe the year before that, or right before the pandemic. So it's been a while, you know. It's, yeah. It's probably cheap for them. They don't got to put, you know, just like oh, they're they'll ride over together so that's some kind of money making <laughs> one saving thing save yeah. on bridge tolls but it's always fun you know it's always fun she has new stuff I have the classics it's a good combination 
Stop. Good combination. Uh, I heard from listening to the Jackie and Lori show, Lori, that you have recorded recently. I did a special uh, for Comedy Dynamics in April, and it's called Cis Woke Grief Slut. And uh, I don't know. I just I sent in my final edits, so hopefully it'll be out in a couple months. Couple months. But also, hopefully, um, I I kind of want to delay it. I just want to write, have more new stuff ready, so that if I'm at a club, uh, you know, this fall, people aren't mouthing along to it. But then I'm like, oh, who's gonna watch it anyway? So you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna watch us? No one's gonna. Maybe they'll watch a few thirty-second reels uh, edited down without uh, half the jokes on uh, Instagram. You know, who knows? I just don't want to. I, I just want to have as much repla- replacement material as possible because I kind of uh, uh, my set last night, except for like maybe like three or four chunks, was all on the special. So I I was like glad it wasn't out before Acme. Okay, you know, three or four chunks is pretty good. That's I mean, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, how will that be available? Do you know yet where people will be able to, um, in months from now? From what I understand, they kind of sell it. They distribute it. Like I had to do a bunch of like, um, uh, promo reels and, uh, like, hi, I'm Lori Kilmartin. You're watching my special on Samsung TV plus <laughs> like a lot of stuff like that. And really? things I she didn't know. Every TV model. <laughs> this is a thing you watch a Magnavox 40 inch. <laughs> 40 inch <laughs> Zenith so recording right. session. <laughs> Each, yeah, different size TVs have their own promos. Hey, Galaxy 10 watchers, guess who? <laughs> so, uh, but I, I maybe Roku, uh, Tubi, and Amazon Prime are the likeliest suspects. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Even though I guess I apparently have heard some of the jokes already. They're fantastic. Oh, yeah. Geez. I'd, 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 don't be like to, that. I'd be willing to wa- laugh <laughs> she, through those. He's like, ag- I heard the jokes already. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be willing to laugh through them again, Tony. <laughs> willing? Geez, there's not a gun to your head. <laughs> they were funny the first time. Yeah, They'll be funny the second time. friends around, maybe then there is a gun to your head. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The listeners didn't hear that conversation oh, we had <laughs> before the podcast. Well, let's um, make fun of them. <laughs> yeah. No, let's make fun of them. Happy birthday a few days ago, by the way. Thank you. Today's Jackie. Birthday. Yes, oh, I saw happy that. Birthday, Jackie happy birthday, Jackie Cation. Yeah, she looms yeah. large. This over is her every home club, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some yeah. fun stories about her in the green room. Oof. Back in the days when she was drinking and fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now she's famous and no fun. <laughs> Just like this one over here. <laughs> Do you two remember first meeting? Probably the Holy City Zoo. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Uh, but probably not because there were so many just like, you know, you just. So many people yeah. there. But yeah. we were, well, I liked her right away. She was she was well into it by the time I started. Um, uh, and, but she was already, oh, funny off the gate, real unique voice. I grew know. to like him. Um, he was obnoxious at first. Sure. I still am. Are. Sure, sure. But yes. she got used to it, like mold. You just, ah, it's just a little. You know. Oh, <laughs> I've been breathing it in a long time. It's going to kill me anyway. It's Why just I did now? with her what I did with my wife comedically. You just wear him down. <laughs> yeah, all right. I get that. I get that. Describe the whole, what is it? Holy City Zoo? What is oh, it my God. It was a, gr- <clears throat> that. a great little club. It was historic. Robin Williams was a bartender there um, after he got famous. Uh, no, before and before, uh, during and not after. Yeah. After too. Yeah, after too. He would two. pop by, right? Yeah, he would come by. Off, yeah, way, way after. Um. It was uh, it was kind of like something about like this these dark beams or something. It was real super small and low ceiling. It only held like sixty people, and you had to walk through and the bar. Some of them on a balcony above. Yeah, a tiny yeah. little balcony yeah. though, right? Like maybe. Yeah. I don't know, uh, but it was fun. It's just because were such good comics were there, you know, so it had a little reputation. It would fill up, and it was wide, so it was fun. It was, you know. Yeah. But it was just you had to walk through everybody to go to the bathroom. So it had the checkerboard floor. <laughs> checkerboard floor, and they don't they just beer and wine, and the woman who ran it went Rebecca. on to be Robin Williams' assistant for life, a, a personal assistant. You know? Yeah. Uh, so uh, it was just a lot of history, and there's so much good comedy came through there. It was just you know like college for us for comedy, you know, because just every you know Paula Poundstone, Robin Williams, you know, all these great. Jeremy I feel Kramer. like I, when Will Durst used to come here, I had conversations with him about that place. Does yeah. that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. Or does that sound right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. He was he was like a headliner there, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, We yeah. were like on he the was open already, scene. I'm just talking about people who are already big, you know, the people we, Lank and Earl were around. They were just oh on the God, left Lank side of Earl. things that were just like so weird in yeah. San francisco that you wouldn't, probably wouldn't work anybody <laughs> place else, but they were, you know, so funny. Yeah. Uh, and they went on to be Daily Show writer. You know, every, it was just so many good people uh, and weirdos. <laughs> yeah. The homeless people would sneak in because it was free, I think, and they just, 
you know, the, once in a while, some guy would get up there and just be r- r- rambling about heroin, uh, just because it was. It's, but that, no, that was you. Oh, that was me. That was you. Because <laughs> uh, it was so cold, and it was like, oh, at least you had to wait three hours to get on, so you could be warm in the club, you know. Yeah. And then the comics, our green room was the back. That was the first time it I was hung out. Right? It was in the back area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't an alley. It was. It had. It, it just had boxes of booze and yeah, stuff yeah, in it, right? Yeah, and yeah. supplies, toilet paper. Yeah. But that was the first time. That was my first right. green room. So I've always that <laughs> expectation of just garbage in the green room was always. So it's a low bar set to set it. Yes, like, oh, this yeah. is a nice one. It's just like <laughs> they had a dumpster. I remember Kevin Kadoka. There's a little TV back there. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And he was yeah. watching The Simpsons, and I, I was like, oh, I don't like cartoons. <laughs> I didn't get into it, but he was like addicted. A couple of you guys were. That's funny because my first. Uh, no awareness of The Simpsons was through Doug Ferrari. Oh, really? What? I was just doing a lot of comedy. Speaking then. of homeless uh, comics, <laughs> Jesus, yeah. You know, I, I was like you. I was out every night. I didn't. I didn't like. T- I didn't watch a lot of TV at yeah, all. Right. And th- by that time, it had already been a popular thing. And he was doing. I'm Homer Simpson impression. I didn't know who he was talking about. Yeah. I'm like, why is he talking about guy? Like a man talking about cartoons. I was in the boat with Lori. Like we predicted wrong. We didn't want to buy stock in that. Yeah. It's still um, on. <laughs> it's still on. What? In 2023. Uh, yeah, so uh, you know, it was just funny that my fr- that huge phenomenon you hear you first see through someone already talking about it on stage, you know. Yeah, right. Um, I, w- uh, I want to go back just about a minute here when you said that uh, you know someone uh, wanders up on stage maybe high in heroin. Um, I want to believe that that's how somebody's like career actually got started, like someone famous. Where did you start? Though. Well, I was high and I stumbled onto a stage. There was a there was a another room like that in New York City called Surf Reality. Did you ever do no, Surf? No, I've heard of it though. They would give you seven minutes and the, the shows would like start, I think it's seven and go up maybe till two in the morning. Ooh. And you would, you just pick your number out of, uh, like a, you know, like a fishbowl and you know, you'd get the number 36 or something and you could go home and watch some television like in Brooklyn, go back so to you're Brooklyn. Like seven times 37. Plus right? everyone's going to go over. Uh, right, right, yeah. right. And so you just, you figure out, Oh, I, I won't be on stage for a couple more hours. I used to do that too, but, um, the zoo would have up to 40 comics on a night. Yeah, and I had a day job. We both probably did. I had, you know, so you you get go up at maybe eleven thirty or something like that. Yeah, and, and then I drive back to Mountain View, and I'd just be like, "That's when I le- I was t- learned not to drink." So I was, I was get Diet Coke because I didn't, you know, it's that's a slippery soap because you're there for so long. Yeah, you, you know, if you're like if you even have a beer, that's three beers. You know, that's so. And Paula P- Poundstone always said, "Oh, just drink Diet Coke, Diet Coke or orange juice." Um, that's the best way to, and she was right, you know, obviously it's a big. Do you remember Raleigh Moe? Oh, yeah, yeah. He would wear the t- tuxedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He so would sing funny. Itsy Bitsy Spider. He'd whisper sing it yeah. and, and uh, like do this weird hand motions. And then he got big in England for, like he was so weird, he, even San Francisco couldn't hold yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah but he, he was a great re- zoo act because he was, he was so odd, but everybody, yes. all the comics loved him. You yeah. Know? Um, that's where, but, you saw Kevin Meaning came out of there. Oh, yeah, you know? right. He's a, uh, Michael Pritchard, all these guys who were just real, real good performers. You yeah. Know? Anyway, so yeah, a lot of just a lot of people started with Kevin Kadoka. That's who I first came to act me with, like in the '90s. Kevin brought me out. Kevin oh, wow. Kadoka, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. What? What? Uh, do you ever run into people that you knew from back then that have moved away from comedy completely? I think we both probably have people we know. You know, yeah. Cody, Cody Blaine, yeah. uh, real funny guy. Yeah, how do, do you? How brilliant. does those conversations go? Do you? Do you sense that they're like, oh? What? What is it like still being in the game? Or, uh, are they like? Is there bitterness or what do you I think? I don't get much envy from people. No, who I just saw. I just saw Chris anymore. Hobbs when I was in Sacramento. Hobbs, what's he doing? Uh, he works for a bank and stuff, and he's you know he doesn't have any desire to do it. And he was real funny too, oh, you know. He was hilarious. Um, and then uh, Jim Farrell's still doing. I didn't see him, but we talk. Uh, he's he's a real funny San Francisco guy. He's yeah. Uh, but I don't think he ever like went on the road. But. But um, you know he he would be real funny. He's he's still he's back. He's doing it once in a while and doing sets, so that's good. I, but but I he works for Total Wine. He's a big shot at Total Wine. Oh really? Company. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. When I run into former comics, I don't get it. They're always like way more envy. successful usually than yeah. they okay, stay well, the maybe course. That, you know? Yeah. Uh, they're, 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 you know, making millions. They're like, yeah, and they no, balance no, I don't their really, lives. I don't really have nice kids. I'm well he- healthier. I'm not an alcoholic. They're not <laughs> out every night. I don't have to cut four reels a day of like, hey, I'm coming home from work. Be there, kids. <laughs> 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 I need those butts in those kitchen seats. <laughs> I know. Maurice, I mean, excuse me, uh, Malcolm this morning asked, do you want to know ticket numbers? I'm like, no. <laughs> what am I going to do about it? What am I going to do? I'm going to retweet whatever you guys tweet anyway. Please. I don't want to know. It's 
the Well, if you jumped focus, off one of these bridges, we'd get some press. <laughs> <laughs> if you live Facebook it. <laughs> the focus on ticket numbers is going to make me leave the business, I think. It's, it's so That's just unfun. called demand. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I think, I mean, not that... The focus on doing well is mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it, I don't remember knowing much about ticket sales about 15 years ago. I think that game has changed where the club yeah. used to be in charge of more promotion. Yeah. And, cause they you always, just showed they'd up. always be, sorry, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, case. there's a fair yeah, tonight. Yeah, that's always yeah. a fair. It's State fair. fair. How can it's, it's middle of winter. Oh, this is winter <laughs> fair. <laughs> winter carnival. Summer winter, it's the <laughs> summer winter fair or the big game always got you too. You know, yes. And I yeah, didn't even yeah. ask what game, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or what Did sport? you hear what's yeah. in town tonight? So, but, but it was never like the comics, it, it was a different shift. Like the, the, club promoted they put the ads in the paper they got you on morning radio yeah not that that was a plus i was gonna say yeah. did you miss that come on nah but anyway now it's all social it's the social now, media of the of the headliner that's how yeah. people get fulfilled and it's yeah. just changed you know it's just how it is it is and it's if i tell you're, my 400 followers that combined <laughs> platforms every single month it's not you know it's not fun it's not fun to some people it's more fun and those are going to take over soon and the, I, I'm have. gonna, but they aren't always the best comics. Oh, God, well, it's no. never been about that. <laughs> I know. Uh, but it's been about you know, you could do do well in front of an audience for 45 minutes, and you you, you could sell crazy eyes or some you know some some reason yeah. that club would have you. The guy We're likes talking about you. Vic Dunlop yeah, right now. Yeah. You know something there where it's like the person likes you, the club owner likes yeah. you, so likes you that you do well enough, you're from there, whatever. You know, yeah. it's like some mix of things, whatever. Uh, it balances out. So, but now I think social media is really. There's so many people. I just look at my home club, the San Francisco Punchline, and I really don't know some people who come in for these one night. Yeah. Uh, they have big followings, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure so. they pack it out. I, yeah. I'm like, I have to look them up. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, million, yeah. million followers. You, don't, you can't you know? fault the club. No, yeah. no. I'm it's not income. faulting the yeah, club. Yeah. I'm just faulting my own ignorance to how this is shifting. So yeah. I have to re-educate myself. <laughs> And, oh, uh, you know, have to, you have to just learn some of these things more. Yeah. You know? How much effort are either of you putting into that type of, you know? We're working on a time machine, actually. <laughs> oh, time machine. That's the best way to do it, we thought, I mean, maybe. Go back in time and, and kill not, TikTok. Not, not do comedy. <laughs> That'd kill TikTok. I wanna, Make better decisions. <laughs> work it. I, yeah. I would like to apply to have Jim Farrell be my uh, yeah. boss. I'm going to get some Apple stock when I'm back, <laughs> when I'm back there. I mean, I go in, in waves where I, uh, I'll cut up a bunch of jokes and post them and, you know, feel efficient. And then there's times where I'm like, I don't want to lift up my, like, I, I, I don't want to be observed, you know? And I think the best thing, the people that are do, do it every single day, um, seem to do the best in terms of getting more followers and stuff. So I, I'm, I'm very moody. I'm wildly <clears throat> wonder why that is. Anyway, uh, what'd you say? I said, wonder why that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hashtag change of life. Listen, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were saying something earlier before I inter interrupted about, Oh, people who are good at it. Yeah. I know a lot of people you, you go before you in interrupted <laughs> with your sexist <laughs> ages joke. Yeah. What was I saying? Uh, Tony? The, the, the Instagram people are like, I'm stuck at JFK for three hours. Have Having a sandwich. <laughs> Ask uh, me anything. And, yeah, and it's just like, <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, I would never do that. <laughs> I, I, like, know, I know. I know it's not funny. I mean, a sandwich in a corner with crumbs on my lap. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I want my, my mom to see this. <laughs> it's, oh, yes, yeah, some of that content is not And they love it. Funny, that's, that's, but, but that's, people they're like good it. at it. They I know, know what know. works and how, what, where the algorithm, you got to hit the algorithm, right? I do and feel I don't like... believe in violence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, it's just a new <laughs> element of comedy that wasn't around when we for, of first. Course not. It's just c coming in. And I mean, just, and even in the la important... just the last five years, oh. it's pivoted so quickly. My goodness. You know, the word algorithm. Should, to me, it was like, what? Comedy is now, it's, now it's, it comes up a lot and it's very important. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Algorithm yeah. was stuck in math class. Yeah. Right? And it, yeah. that's where it belongs. And I wanted yeah. to go back there. Right? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to change my name to Algorithm. Whoa. <laughs> and then be a comic. And, well, maybe. Hey, I'll be Italian. I'll just be Italian jokes. Algorithm. Oh, algorithm. Forget about it. <laughs> but don't forget about it. Algorithm never forgets. Well, I was going to say, did you see who is in town uh, this tonight as well as you two? You two, the band. No. To come by. As well as you two, like oh, okay. you, you two, two of and you. Who else? Uh, you two is here, but who, no, uh, the two of you is what I meant to say. Uh, uh, are they a YouTube uh, takeoff band? <laughs> the two of you. 
Just Elliot, <laughs> Elliot Threets at um, the other comedy club. Sure. I won't no. say that name. He, he popped by last night, though, to say oh. hi. We were together so long ago at Sanford and Sons, I think, or Stanford. He said and triple Sons? gig, triple gig. Yeah, triple, probably triple as well. And we did a triple gig pretty close to here. We did Mile City. Yes, Montana. Yeah, the, it was the week Jerry Garcia died. We, oh, was it? We, were, we got the news on that trip. Yeah. I don't believe we were I maybe, was as sad as you were. Because I wasn't you're... that sad. I hated them at the time. Oh, okay. I was into punk rock. Oh, okay. But you were getting the like the clash. You were you you yes. were like a big David Reed laugh fan, but you were coming over to the clash yeah. right at that cusp. Right, right. I feel right. I take some credit for that. I did yeah, I did introduce yeah. my son to some Van Halen a couple Well now it's okay again. Yeah, yeah. Um, Beyonce is in town tonight. Oh well Beyonce. Oh, there's that there's our excuse. There's our state fair tonight. There you go. <laughs> well, Beyonce. No, she's doing comedy and she's out selling us. Guys, if you can't if you don't have fifteen hundred dollars yeah. for a Beyonce ticket, you do have how much are my tickets? 25, 30? 20 or 25. 20. Yeah, maybe, oh, maybe, oh, what maybe, the I don't hell? Know, Am I a 30, budget headliner? 50? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I you know. And I'm just free. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I well, might be minus five dollars. It'd be a thirty dollar ticket otherwise. If I went to see Beyonce tonight, would you cover my time? Yeah, thank you. Gladly. Hello, crowd work. <laughs> <laughs> no, then I would be I'd be pelted. <laughs> What's the most either of you have spent on a concert ticket? Uh, I don't know. I, I know. I'm not a big <laughs> concert person. Uh, She's always I, working. My son and I, I took my son to see grandson a couple of weeks ago, and uh, that was really cool. It was fun. It was his first like real rock concert oh, with his wow. mom. I think that's what the way every boy likes to remember their first rock concert. <laughs> <laughs> I went to my first concert with my mom. Aww. That was nice, yeah. And look at you. Who was it? I should say something funny. Gorillas. <laughs> no, uh, it, was, uh, Beastie Bob, boys, it, it was Bob Dylan. Wow. Yeah. I went and saw Tina Turner with my mom. I think you win, huh? Yeah. That's pretty good. It was that is pretty very good. good. Bob yeah. Dylan, you know, he's not the most dynamic performer. And he was going right into a Christian phase, and I didn't know that. So I, I, you know, I, my mom had the Bob Dylan albums. So I'm all jazzed up to see Bob Dylan. It was all this Christian music. So. What's his real last name? It's not Dylan. Zimmerman. Zimmerman. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But anyway. And by the way, there have been thousands and thousands of people that have gone to see Bob Dylan over the years and left disappointed. Yeah, I've, I've seen him subsequently been been pretty good, and I've seen him be you know all over the place. Same. But yeah, you know, it's a it's a ninety year old man. You're like, oh, uh, he wasn't. He didn't jump around as much. As he used. All I want is the amount of fame where I could leave. P- people would leave my show disappointed, and I would still sell out the next time I came back. That's what I want. Yeah. Instead, I have to satisfy every goddamn customer, and then hope they come back and see me the next time. <laughs> so there, you're. Messages leave them not satisfied. <laughs> that's my, that's my, I aspire to that. Uh, you're Laurie, halfway there. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Have you? You're so good on stage of like, uh, I'm, I mean, on social media and on stage, and you have for a long time. Um, you don't hold back. You're, you know, it's very clear what your view is on things, no matter what the topic is. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people are afraid to deal with the be- like. When you say something that might people don't agree with, you know, yeah, some people are afraid to do that because you don't want to hear the other side or whatever. You clearly have no problem with that. Was there ever a time that you didn't? Did something happen to change that, or have you always been that way? I don't know. I don't think so. I just, um, uh, I always try to personalize topics, so I don't want to talk about a topic necessarily, but I want to talk about my relationship to whatever it is, you know. Because I, I, I don't want to turn into a daily show monologue or something, you know? And sure. I don't I, de- I definitely don't like to – I hate it when comics show, do both sides of an argument because they, they, they get both sides wrong. <laughs> like, just, just tell us what you think because the only thing that's right is what you think. You know, at least that's a, an accurate representation of your opinion is what you say, right? But when someone goes, and then they say this, and then they say this, both time, on both sides they usually don't get it right, and that drives me nuts. And it, sure. to me it feels like uh, cowardice. Yeah, I think if, if you if you have some jokes that are pro that just because you're like, oh, they're just good jokes, I want to say, I think you got to end with a weighted side at least. Like, like oh, uh, you know, like I was joking about the others, you know, because you know, I've seen people flip it real good. Okay, they they do. Okay, that it's a, I hope the audience knows that, that what the yeah. message is. You, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. Because so, sometimes I think it's blurry. Yeah. But I think a, a good comic does leave you with a sense of where they are, mm-hmm. you know, even if they counteract or they're or like oh they are they're being sarcastic you, you know? yeah right right yeah 
I get that. I totally get that. Uh, that. That is a fantastic answer. Thank you. Uh, to, oh, and we're done. Boy, that's both of you. So to go, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, hit the road uh, right now. And uh, no, I want to bring up some. Uh, let's see here. So one of the fun things I do is I look up my guest name on eBay to see if stuff. What, what weird things? <laughs> that, uh, I think I've done I this. I don't think that's a fun thing. I think that's an odd thing. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a stalker thing. <laughs> it is. And How, then I wait. buy them and I store them as trophies. <laughs> and I label them. They, they were on. How? I mean, it's not enough that I got to sell tickets, <laughs> but now I got to be popular on eBay. Now Come she on, has Justin. to change her eBay every, once a year when she comes here. <laughs> I have to sell my own stuff on eBay <laughs> under a hidden account. <laughs> I could take it. All right. So this, uh, Tony, this, this, Tony Kameen, I searched your name. Comedy's, comedy New Year's Eve 1996. Wow. Yeah. It is a poster that's for sale. Do you um, know what this is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's probably got David Tell on there or somebody good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, I think that's... You, all... David Tell, David Feldman, Larry Brown. Oh, my God. Uh, Johnny Steele. What yes. is it? A dollar? How much is that thing? Is uh, that the punchline or yeah, yeah. Uh, Palace of Fine Arts? Palace of Fine Arts, yeah. Uh, this one's on sale for $100. Wow. There are That's several... nine, 99 David Tell <laughs> money. I probably took $5 off. I shaved $5 off. Can you, is there any, do you remember anything significant from the show or anything? Oh, like? yeah. It was my first time playing the Palace of Fine Arts. It was great you know, to be on one of these shows. I did the, it was through the, I think, the Alex Bennett show, maybe. Oh, Regulars. Yeah. Um, and I, was, I got on and um, I started doing it a lot. Because I'd make fun of Alex Bennett and the ho- and the producer liked that, <laughs> even though Alex did- Bennett really didn't. He didn't. Who's the producer at the time? It, it was uh, Stephanie. Okay, yeah, Zelma. right, right. Um, so it was it was my first time playing this great, gorgeous theater and you know just beautiful place in San Francisco. So it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Very cool. Fun. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, for Lori, of course, your two books have been found on there. Yeah, people yeah. selling them. You could buy them for a dollar on eBay or twenty five from me, but I'll sign them to you at the show. I didn't see one for a dollar, so I think you're making that up. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well. No, I saw, but I saw last night that you brought them with. You know what? Oh, yeah. I bet that was Beyonce trying to keep her, get her value <laughs> down. Like, see, no one's, no one cares about her. Come see me. So, what is the, what's the merch you're bringing on the road right now? Uh, I'll bring the books, and uh, I, I have a shirt of a picture of me riding a centaur. Uh, that's related. Related to one of my climate change chunks, so it's also you know. sexual. <laughs> a it's little a bit. Sexual element. <laughs> I, I'm like, wait, your witch chunks? Yeah, I was thinking you more know. sexual, but yes, <laughs> uh, it's climate change as well. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you use, Interesting you the use, way you, know. you guys see it versus the way I. I see it. Excuse Look, me. I go by exploit, the setup. If you got to exploit your sexuality, <laughs> it's a tough business. Well, you know, when you, this is this. Put her reels, am, she put her reels on OnlyFans. You know, that's how she. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the reel, I saw you, uh, there was a reel, or I don't know what it was, but it was of you, Lori, on the stage here at Acme, pregnant. That was me. I made it. And mm-hmm. then. Uh, then be- on stage 13 years later talking about your son that yeah. was then 13 years old and now he's what 16 or he's something 16, right? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's 16 yeah he's lost yeah. somewhere in the he's bus currently, system he's currently yeah he has a job mother of the year over so- here <laughs> <laughs> and I've been driving him to work because I'm on strike and have nothing to do. So last week we, I took him on the bus. We, it's LA. The, it's not a great bus system, so it's not like New York where you just hop on. Right. What, right? So we did a trial run. Did I kept you, pointing you, things did you, did out. You, I'm you, like, here's okay. a route number. Here's a bus number. These aren't the same numbers, right? The, there's a number on the bus to identify the bus, and there's a route number. And you get on here, and you get off here, and uh, yeah, yeah, oh my god, <laughs> and then I just got a text. He's lost. He's on the wrong bus. He's just taking pictures of some horrible parts of L.A. And he's late for his job. Did he find it? Did he get back on course? No, I'm doing a podcast right now, Tony. Go check your thing. All right. What a horrible me... mom. I'm doing a free podcast. <laughs> I won't even come out till after I'm here. Oh, it'll come Great out today. promotion. <laughs> no, no, no. It'll come out right. We flip these fast. Really? Oh, yeah. Today? Possibly, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, so this yeah. is unedited, huh? I mean, we throw a couple of fart sounds in, and when no, thank things God. don't That's land, just what this needs. Other than that, <laughs> do a really long one. She has to check about her son. This is uh, I'm worried about. I him. don't know what the deal is. He's, he's, no real, I, he's funny. He he said he asked the bus driver, and then he said, "I don't trust myself on the buses anymore." I don't know what that means. It, there's no details. The driver said that. The driver. <laughs> it sounds like he's gonna molest this kid. Here, take the wheel. I don't, I don't trust, trust myself, myself anymore. <laughs> he's a good-looking boy. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> my That's God. That's the worst thing you can say. <laughs> and then he threw a vodka in the bottle at the wastebasket. <laughs> Why am I laughing at your joke about that my son might be molested by a bus driver? Because it would be your fault. <laughs> you only gave him one specific go-through? <laughs> it was so easy. I don't understand. You're a whole week off? It's, it's, <laughs> Do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I found out this morning that my uh, how old is she? 17 year old daughter snuck in the house this morning through her window. What? Why was she After, out? Oh, went to church early. <laughs> 6 a.m. service. You guys know yeah, how it is. Old sixer. Oh, what the a sweetheart. <laughs> she was out picking up garbage yeah, in the highway. That's nice. With the early birds. That's her, that's her group. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, when I left to come to the club last night to see the show, I got an email that the power was out at my house. And when I got back last night, the power was still out of my house. And during your set, actually, Tony, I had, my phone started uh, vibrating in my pocket. I go, I leave the club to answer it because nobody ever freaking calls when they know I'm at Acme. And uh, it was my daughter asking uh, if she could spend the night at her friend's house because the power was out. And, you know, she has to charge her phone. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know the friend? I do. I've met the friend. Okay female friend that she works with. So I let her stay over. Uh, I said, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Stay over. I mean, heaven forbid your phone dies. And no, you like, can't. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, unacceptable. So the deadbolt was uh, engaged this morning when she was coming back home. I got dropped off. And we, I were, buy it. What do you think? we were all sleeping. She couldn't get in. So she I went in true. through her window. I, I, I want to know what kind true. of dad deadbolts the door when they know their daughter's coming home. That's my question. Mm. Let me flip it back to you, oh, yeah. Justin. Mm. I agree. I'm habit. I used to live in worse neighborhoods. It's habit. Okay. I don't anymore, but it's just out of habit. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. surprised you have a 17-year-old. You look you're so young. 17, 15, and almost four. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Same wife? You're almost due again. No, huh? I knew it. <laughs> I've never been married. No. Uh, yes. And all, I, they all caught you. <laughs> I had two with my first, one with my current. Current? Current, uh, you should say last. Current right? and last. <laughs> you cut me off. <laughs> current and last. Second, current, last. All of the above. Okay. So, yeah, I, uh, yes. 17, 15, all girls, by the way. Oh, that's great. Well, that's I'm, your sperm, and it's your fault or your blessing, depending on your I say, I, I, I would say congratulations. Thank I think. you. It's, yes. It's a girl's, it's a lady's world. <laughs> it really is. It's so great to be a lady. It's a lady's world. You I say, a, doilies g- are going to be everywhere. Congrats, nice. girls. Yeah. You really were born into yeah, the greatest is, country on yeah, earth. We, we know what? We set it up for you. <laughs> Isn't it your line, Lori, uh, that I should be saying, well, as a father of daughters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> father of a daughter. <laughs> my view is that I do not believe in that, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's such a cop out. Such an absolute cop out. Uh, is there anything else that we should be mentioning before I cut you guys loose here? What do we think? That's funny that to say to us, cut us loose, because we're just going to walk back slowly to. <laughs> <laughs> before you well, we're, uh, we're cut think about a light dinner before. Us back into the wild. <laughs> to pe- no, I think that's good. People. I think that's good. We got yeah. the Jackie and Lori show still going on strong once still a week. Still going oh. strong. Yeah. To the best in the biz. I brought my air purifier, as I always do. Put it front and center. Only when so. I'm around. For Sit up reason. front if you want. You'll be safer up front with me. It's the cleanest show in town, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have any air purifiers. <laughs> Is she outdoor in doors uh, arena? This no, it's or? outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. In a oh, with these thunderstorms. Football hmm, is that a good stadium. Idea? In a football stadium. Oh. With no roof. Mm. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Sands damp with the thunder showers. I got drenched coming over the other last night. Just so, drenched. Yeah. yeah. Well, folks, there's still time to turn those tickets in and get over to Acme. <laughs> do turn them Wait, in. Are you going to turn them in? Do, will you accept Beyonce tickets as We payment? do have a roof here. I mean, are you guys advertising that? Maybe more yeah. than me and my name, you should advertise that you have a roof. Yeah, yeah. and temperature control. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come roof it up. <laughs> roof it up with headliner TBD and Tony Camille. Your laughs won't go through the roof here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys very much for doing this. Thank oh, thanks. You. It's always fun to see you, man. Yeah. Thank you. It's great to see you. Thank and you. I'll see you next time you'll have another kid. 